I've known your dad for 20 <laughs> years. I've worked with his father for 20 mm -hmm. years. They bring to us the very best NFL apparel that we have ever had. The company is called G3, started by an NFL Carl superstar. Banks, who was a linebacker yep. for the uh, New York Giants, yes. And they're, they're dedicated to making sure it is absolutely the best. This is the long sleeve men's thermal, and we've got them gift priced at $45, 46 Great. cents. Easy pay, it's five payments, a little over nine bucks. And the easiest way to do this is to tell you, we've got all 32 teams in the NFL. Yep, that's, that's one of the best features that we have here for QVC yeah. because you know, as we talked before, you're, uh, you know, you're moving out to Green Bay. And you know, say if you're a Green Bay fan, if you're a Lions fan, whoever fan you are, you know, sometimes you live in an area where you can't find your own hometown team's apparel. So if you come here, you have all 32 teams. So if you have someone in the military, someone yep. getting one away to school, to send them something that reminds them a little bit of at home, it's always nice to do around the holiday season. And this is a little bit different, okay? This shirt, first of all, it's the quality and standards of G3. So you get the thermal weave on those long sleeves, on the hoodie as well, but you then get, and, and I like that it's not overdone. Sometimes NFL can be it's a little subtle, overdone. It's subtle, yeah. You know, yeah. it's a real nice subtle piece that you can wear, you know, out with some jeans. If you're just gonna go out and watch the game with a couple buddies, if you're hanging at home, it doesn't necessarily scream loud and proud, right. but it definitely shows that, you know, you are a fan, you're wearing out. I mean, it's gonna be your primary team color, so it's gonna stand out. Then it has your team name going across the front with the official team logo. And it gives you the established date. Now, Indianapolis Colts, they were at one time Baltimore. Correct. But it tells you when that name first came into existence. I didn't realize the Rams had been around since 37. I actually was just going through here to see all, what all the oldest one is. I found out that the Packers are the oldest, and they were in 1919. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's weird. If you look at them, a lot of them are a gap. A lot of them go from the 1930s, or, and then they won't be anything until then the 1960s. Uh, <laughs> and the colors are just right. They are perfect. So, I mean, we'll try to show you all of them, but you know who is on your list and who Correct. roots for who. Like, I got a producer who's upstairs right now. Green Bay Packers. <laughs> now, yeah, uh, and we got a lot of Green Bay Packer fans, mine, myself included. <laughs> but Eagles merchandise out here where we broadcast from, I can find that. Yeah, but you can't find exactly what you're looking for the other way. If yep. I walked into a, a sporting goods <laughs> store in Philadelphia and go, hey, what do you have with the San Francisco 49ers? Uh, it's going to be a bad day for me. You're right. And, you know, the, one of the great things I like to say about when we have G3 and we have the NFL license, which right. is one of the hardest licenses in sports to obtain. It's even that, harder to keep the. Correct. Exactly. So what we're going to do for you now right now is basically I want to show you the, the idea of when we have color schemes in the NFL. Okay. All right. So there are so many different shades of reds, blues and greens that if you actually hold these three up next yep. to each other, they are three different shades of red. So it's not like we're just going to give you a generic red, a generic blue, a generic green. You know, you're going to get your official team color and it has to be just right it, or almost, else I, and the NFL won't let you do it. I don't think the term is trademark, but I mean, that color is absolutely precise. They have their own Pantone. Correct. For their colors. And if it's not correct, you know, the Kansas City Chief fans are going to go, wait, that's no, that's Oh, I'm colorblind, and I can tell that it's three different colors. All right. You, they, you do it right. Over yeah, here. Yeah, let's jump over here. We can start going through some of the teams so everyone can sure. kind of see. So you have the Pittsburgh Steelers, the New England Patriots are another strong team right there. There you go. You have the Green Bay Packers. You know, like I said, it's going to be your primary team color going yeah, across the front. 1919. 19. So think about that. That's not just this generation. That's you, your father, yep. your grandfather, your great grandfather. So you realize how deep football actually runs in your family and know how many years you've been through it. Interesting game. Philadelphia against Seattle just this past weekend. Uh, we could have clinched our division. It could have, but you know what? They're a tough team out there and Seattle's oh, yeah. a very, very it, tough stadium to play in. It, dude, they've been there before. Yeah. They know what it's like to be at the Super Bowl. There's the Eagles established 1933. What do I have? I've got, got the, the Broncos. The Broncos. 1960. Then I have the Chicago Bears, who another one of the older teams, 1920, along with the Carolina Panthers, who are the newer team, 1995. Yeah. I, I just, I, I find this stuff exciting, because this is a way of being able to share your respect for your, your you know, family member, loved sure. one's friend's team. And, and it's, that's a good sign of friendship. I got a buddy, it's hard to say, <laughs> who's a Dallas fan. All right, well, I knew if that was I, coming. <laughs> if I were to buy this, for my buddy who's a Dallas fan. That's my way of really saying I'm a friend. Yeah, that is, that's tough to buy, okay. especially in this market, but yeah, absolutely. But you know, that's that's the point. We do have all 32 teams here, and Dallas is a very hard license to get to as well. Yeah, they are. So, you know, the fact that we can get them, hold on to them, and provide, you know, there they the are. Dallas product, there you go, you know, is something that says a lot for G3.
And Dallas, they, they take a lot of ribbing, especially out here in Philadelphia. <laughs> but I got to tell you, that's that's the best game of the year to go to. It is fun. Yep. Dallas, we always really. usually end with them too at the very end of the year. Yeah. But you know, we're going to see what's going to happen. There's still four weeks left of the season. What which, you know, football well. And yeah. this past weekend uh, was an interesting weekend because there could have been some clinching, mm -hmm. could have been done. Now, now there's a lot of teams. They're up for grabs. Let me find. There, Minnesota, the Minnesota Vikings. Vikings. There you go. They're also one of the best ten teams. and two at this point. So, where do you think this is going to wind up? Any idea? You know, I am I am an Eagles fan, but I don't want to jinx and sit there and say I say they have a strong team. I can okay. see the Patriots making it again. The Vikings are going to make a good run on it. Um, I'll tell you what, this Thursday night game, the New York, uh, the Giants? Saints. No, it's the Saints versus the yeah, Falcons. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I think that's going to be the best Thursday night games we're going to see all year. I, I would agree. I would agree. But and you know, there's there's four weeks left, and when you get to realize it, that's actually a quarter of the season still left. Oh, yeah, well, you're like, right. Yeah, you yeah, know, we're right. third of the that's season true. still left. So there's you a know, lot. Anything can really happen, yeah. And I tell you what, all it takes is a few key players, injury situations, to completely turn a <laughs> team around. We've got New Orleans Saints. They were founded back in 1967. The Bengals. Oh, got it backwards. There's the Bengals. <laughs> 68. That was my team growing mm. up, man. Really? Well, I grew up in Indianapolis. We didn't have a team. Okay. <laughs> until after after I had moved out, and then you know Baltimore came into town. I had the Buffalo Bills, and then you go. You have the Detroit Lions, one of the oldest teams in the NFL too. Thirty-four. Always fun to watch on Thanksgiving. You guys, <laughs> you, your dad, you know, Mr. Banks, everybody who does this, it's the finest example of apparel that the NFL has to offer, in my opinion. It is always a pleasure. Absolutely. Thank you. Have fun. These this are the gifts that really make somebody excited, and I think the quality will continue to please them for many, many years to come. We got a lot more, Pat. Pat James.